Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. If you are new around here, hello, my name is Gemma. Hopefully after watching today's try on haul, you will hit that subscribe button and become part of the YouTube fam. So today I have a what's new in my wardrobe collective haul style video. I do tend to do this from time to time. It's not just H&M haul, Zara haul. I've got a few new pieces to show you. The weather in London at the minute has not been weathering. It was touch and go. I was like, am I gonna have to do my wardrobe switch over at this point? Do the autumn winter clothes need to come out and the summer clothes be packed away? But the weather has perked up. Some of these pieces are definitely transitional, but I cannot wait to show you what new pieces I have been picking up i am definitely starting to think about autumn transitional outfits as well so expect to see lots of that here in the next coming weeks but we're going to get straight into it i really really hope that you enjoy today's video guys as always let me know what pieces you are loving down below in the comments and yeah carry on watching okay the first thing i wanted to show you i've realized green and blue are both two of my favorite colors to wear in terms of bright colors so this is a little cold set but you guys know i love things like this because you can mix and match them so easily wear them different ways with existing pieces in your wardrobe so you've got these lovely trousers i'm not gonna lie they are giving pajamas but I love comfort and I think that these are going to be a really nice one to wear now but also transition. You could throw a blazer over this, you could do a little jumper um, but I really want to wear it as a set. So that is a closer look, you've got this elasticated waistband, I love the stripe detail here, the little drawstring. I mean unfortunately they don't have pockets but beggars can't be choosers. These feel like a gorgeous quality. I have a lot of colours like this from H&M but sometimes the quality isn't the best. These feel amazing. I got these ones in an EUR 36 which is a UK 8 apparently according to the tag. So that is what the trousers look like and then to go with it is this gorgeous shirt the quality on this feels amazing i actually think this will look really good tucked into denim jeans white jeans and black jeans even black faux leather trousers as we really go into autumn and um, i just stuck to a size small in this one i didn't want it to be too oversized uh, and I really, really like it. As you can see here from the cutaway together as a set, I absolutely love this outfit. I just will tuck the shirt in a little bit to give you a little bit of shape, but you could wear it open with a little tank top underneath. I think it would be really, really cute. Um, and again, like I said, you can mix and match these two pieces so many ways with jeans, with denim. Um, so I definitely think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it. So yeah, I got this one in a size small. Personally, for me, I really like the way it fits. I wouldn't have sized up, even though I do love an oversized fit. But I really like the attention to detail here on the sleeve. You've got the buttons here, and I really like this thick cuff here. I just think it's really nice, and the stripes, they're giving... The composition of this is lyocell and viscose. It feels really, really nice. And the colour is everything. Another thing I picked up from And Other Stories is this little knitted vest. I think this is going to be such a good transitional piece as the weather starts to cool down again. Uh, which is probably going to be soon, even though I'm hoping we've got a good, fingers crossed, three, four weeks left of summer. Because it feels like we really haven't had a summer in London. Um, but imagine this pair of denim jeans, blazer laid over the top. I got this one in extra small, as you'll see here from the cutaway. I really like the way it fits on me. I don't think I would have sized up to a small. So actually, I think this might come up quite big. It does have quite a bit of stretch to it. Um, you could wear one of those racer style bras underneath if you don't want to go braless. I just really like the colour of this and like I said these kind of pieces are going to be great basics to have for your autumn and like late fall wardrobe. The blazer laid over the top. So nice and I really love this like greyishy colour. I think it's so gorgeous for autumn. That is a closer look at the ribbed material. It's a lovely quality. It feels like a really really nice thickness. And guys we're all about the good wardrobe basics over on this channel. To go with that little top I mean guys look at the colour 
combo together so cute um and another piece that i've got to show you in a second is this skirt imagine this with my prada loafers and little socks a cozy like cardigan or jumper the cardigan i'm going to show you next i think the cutest transitional autumn outfit and i don't actually have a skirt in this color currently in my wardrobe so that's what it looks like from the front it's got a really nice pleat it's actually got belt loopholes i need to get a really good tan and black belt for my autumn wardrobe or just my wardrobe in general i've got the gucci one but i just i don't know i feel like i might actually sell that because i'm just not loving it anymore I'm feeling more like the Loewe one or like a celine one maybe that's what it looks like from the back it's straight um really really love this i got this one in a size 36 which is i think an eight for and other stories this was 45 pounds which i actually think is a really decent price for the quality of this it feels really 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 nice um, and I think I'm gonna have this in my wardrobe for a long time but imagine this guys with first piece of knitwear for a while on this channel guys look at this cardi this is from ASOS I actually did pick it up I mean they're doing 20% like so left right and center at the minute but imagine this done up this skirt like I cannot deal with the color combo there and then my Prada loafers I think would be really cute but also a knee-high boot literally obsessed so this is the outfit on I love it I mean I'm actually trying this on and it's like 25 degrees my windows are shut guys I'm doing this for you <laughs> but how cute is this outfit I can't deal this cardigan as well is an absolute gem honestly like the quality I think this actually if it was in and other stories for 75 pounds i wouldn't even blink twice it's so nice it also comes in black as well i'll link the black one i'm wearing this in a small i think it's the perfect amount of oversized that is a closer look of the fabric i mean look at that i love the silver zip hardware as well as you'll see from the cutaway here you can actually zip it so you can zip it and just have it as one zip or you can zip the zip up here and down and i really really like that especially with when worn with the skirt because then you can see the skirt underneath so yeah i love this i got this one in a small which is a eight to ten and i'm five seven and a half and i feel like this is perfect i wouldn't have sized up i wouldn't have sized down i'm obsessed with this and another thing i got from asos on the 20 percent off is a bag and i've actually seen this on a few other influencers so i was influenced but I obviously have a few designer handbags, but some of them just don't fit enough in them. And then we saw this bag. I love this because I think it's such a Bottega dupe. And this fits the kitchen sink and more in. I'm gonna prove to you that it does. Here is my MacBook laptop. Here is the bag and it fits so this would be a perfect bag for work i think it looks so good i love big bags i think they elevate any outfit and just make it look so cool like imagine this with like a big chunky cardigan or roll neck jumper something like that pair of jeans really good work bag for me i am actually lacking a bag that fits a laptop and a book in um so yeah i've got the kitchen sink and more in here and i can go about my day i love it i am obsessed i actually think this is going to sell out really really quickly so if you like it definitely definitely add it to your basket and it was really really reasonably priced like this was i want to say 30 pounds okay moving on to zara first up is this gorgeous top you'll see much better from the cutaway so it's a high neck and then it has an open back which you can tie so you can tie it in a bow or you can tie it just once and have it kind of dangling down at the back this one i got in a medium it was 25.99 i would suggest maybe sizing up in this one purely because i did order a small and a medium and the small was really really tight on my neck and it actually made me feel like i was suffocating so i stuck with the medium you know the jeans and a nice top vibe this top nails that category 
to perfection and i think this is going to be a good one for date night if you're going for dinner with the girls if you've got dinner or drinks this is a top on i love this outfit so much but there's so many ways you can wear this you can wear it with a slip skirt you could wear it with jeans you could wear it with black trousers um camel trousers like there's so many ways you can wear this i just think it looks way more expensive than the 25.99 price tag um it does come in like three colors i think i did see on the model actually that you can wear it like that way like front ways um but my boobs are way too big for that like honestly it wouldn't even go over like half of my breast so unfortunately i can't wear it like that but i love it this way as well i just think it's so elegant because you know i love an open back and another thing i picked up from zara was a bodysuit they do bodysuits so well so this bodysuit is exactly the same material as the racer you know the zara racer bodysuits that we all have in like every color in our wardrobe so it cinches you in it looks amazing on i just love it tucked into jeans but also i feel like this one could be a really good one to wear for work with a blazer laid over top maybe tucked into some camel trousers or some black trousers i am just obsessed with the square neckline of this so this one was 15.99 i feel like they used to be 9.99 zara like cozy living hun what's going on again it is a staple i'm gonna get so much wear out of this i just love it here paired with a classic denim jean you can't go wrong and then i could layer a blazer over it like a really nice transitional outfit i could wear this on a night out like there's so many ways that you can wear this and yeah love i feel like me and this dress have basically been having a bit of an argument um the story of this dress was i ordered it i don't know if you can see it's this beautiful black satin halter neck dress with like an open back you'll see better from the cutaway so i ordered this dress originally in a small it felt a bit too tight on my boobs and quite short because i'm tall so i ordered it in a medium um loved it accidentally sent the medium back then reordered it zara sent me a small i was like this dress is not meant to be zara one last chance to redeem themselves i reordered it in a medium the medium arrived for me the medium is perfect the length is perfect i love that it's a little bit looser on my boobs like i hate it when it's too tight this is what it looks like on one word stunning honestly this is such a good dress to have just like everyone needs an lbd in their life but i like that it's not like too tight when you think of lbd sometimes you think of like bodycon and i'm not a bodycon kind of gal never have never will be i think it's so elegant the black for me is so timeless it does come in other colors but i did think for me this one i'll get so much wear out of i'll have it in my wardrobe i can just pull it out whenever i need it for you know like drinks date night i mean if that ever happens like a night out i feel like i actually haven't been going on a many nights out at all recently um but yeah love this it was 29.99 i think is an absolute steal for this dress let me know what you think after you've seen it on but yeah i i love this i did pick up these silver heels from zara as well i actually was going to wear them to a wedding i had last weekend but i didn't end up wearing them in the end but i'm still going to keep them because i love them they were 35.99 which i think for zara heels is really good they're actually surprisingly comfortable as well i think they're a really good heel height well no that is quite high but they're still like really comfy love the detail here can you see it's like a point um i just think they're really really classy i love the strap details yeah they're really cute and metallics aren't going anywhere and i feel like it's a really fun way to just elevate your outfit they actually look really good with the black satin dress but also you could just do denim jeans that black bodysuit these heels black bag really really nice outfits for a blazer over the top i just think that's really chic quite understated sexy comfy like everything you want a like evening look to be had to show you this dress i mean i'm a barbie girl 
in a Barbie world. I don't know if you've seen the Barbie movie, but the Barbie movie has been rubbing off on me. Left, right and centre. So this dress was actually a potential to wear to my friend's wedding last week. Um, but I posted in the group and my friends were like, no, go for the purple option. I wore the lilac dress instead. This one, I'll leave a picture on the screen here from Forever New. I mean, I did love it. I do love this and I think it would make a really lovely wedding guest outfit. It's from House of CB. So it's got a slit here. I mean, you're going to see better from the cutaway, but it's got beautiful ruffles. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shade of pink. I got this one in a size small. I think if you've got a holiday coming up, a uh, wedding abroad, this dress would be perfect. It does come in two other colours. I think it's a baby blue and like a flame orange. But one has slightly different neckline. I think it's actually got like shoulder straps. I love this. I'm actually glad that I didn't wear this because on the day it was chucking it down with rain. And I think this would have just looked a little bit like I was, yeah, it just, yeah, I don't think it was the vibe for the day but i definitely cannot wait to wear this for another occasion it's beautiful this is what it looks like on i feel like it is it's a dress that is giving it makes you feel like a million dollars like i feel amazing in this it's so comfortable i could definitely eat and drink in this it's just the color for me like it's wow 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 so if you actually need a uh, outfit for like a wedding abroad or you've got a holiday maybe like a birthday away or something like that i feel like this dress is just going to make you feel so special and yeah i love it so much and the last thing i wanted to show you that's a new addition to my wardrobe are my new balance trainers i feel like my trainer collection is growing and thriving and actually i think i have one two three four four pairs of new balance trainers now that's a bit excessive but they're all different styles these ones are in the color sea salt white i think i actually believe that these have sold out i somehow managed to get my hands on them on the new balance website um, but they actually have stocked or should i say restocked in a different color which i actually really really love um i think the tick or not the tick the um n logo is like a navy blue and they're white so blue and white together i really like these they're giving like balenciaga but they are as light as a feather and oh my goodness these are actually like walking on clouds i think they might be more comfortable than the 530s love them i know they're not going to be for everybody but i love a chunky trainer these are giving i've actually like they've become my new gym trainers weirdly i will obviously wear them as everyday trainers as well but for the gym oh my god they are comfy so guys we've reached the end of the video i really hope that you loved the pieces that are new in to my wardrobe as always let me know down below which pieces you are loving which are your favorite and if you've made it to the end of the video comment with black bag i see you it's like meet the fuckers circle of trust <laughs> you're having a lovely day whatever you're up to i will be back with another video very very soon i think it's going to be a h&m transitional haul so keep your eyes and ears peeled for that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one guys bye